Hi, I'm Carlise Burke and welcome to An Actor's Library. Today, I would like to present my book review on the book, True Biz. And I'll sign that for you, True Biz or True Biz. It is an amazing story. It's a novel, but it's so much more. It's basically about three main characters, Charlie, Austin, and February, and other characters as well. But it's so much more than just a novel. There's history in this book. It's it's to, it's like it's it's a major education on deaf culture. It takes place in a boarding school, a deaf boarding school, and it starts out with an incident and then it just explodes into a plethora of deaf culture. You'll learn about historical events in deaf culture. You'll learn about cochlear implants. There are, um, uh, let me find a, a chart, here it is. You'll learn sign language because there are pages that show you the signs for things that are talked about in the chapters. I was amazed because while I was reading this book, I was doing a film called Fractal. And I learned about B-A-S-L. I know sign language. Let me just put this up here for a second. Um, and I'm very uh, involved with deaf culture. But I did not know about B-A-S-L which is Black American Sign Language. I've been a part of the deaf community for years and I've, I I never heard of it. So the film that I was in introduces or talks about Black American Sign Language. BASL, Black American Sign Language, is, is like comparable to Ebonics in the hearing Black culture. We tend to, some of you may have heard of a term called code switching, which is black people speak a certain way around their family and friends and may speak differently at work or around their colleagues or their coworkers. BSL is the same thing. They sign differently when they're among each other, black deaf people with their family, with their friends. So, the fact that I was in this film and then it pops up in this book along with all this other information about deaf culture just completely blew my mind. I just wanna point out the cover. I love the design and all the colors because this is what the book represents. Like it's so colorful and so delicious. It's just, oh, I could go on and on and on. But the handshake that you see right here um, is is both of the the hand shapes for true biz or true biz. I just think it was beautiful, beautifully done. I didn't even know that Sarah Novick was deaf actually until I saw her at a book signing or a a a a reading of her book, and she was the person to read it. And she spoke like I'm speaking now, which is not common for deaf people who have never heard speech, who have never heard the spoken word. That's why they speak differently because they you can't copy something that you've never heard. Come to find out, Sarah wasn't born deaf. She became deaf much later in life. And I believe that that means the character Charlie, and I love the way she starts all of her chapters with, ah, hold on, the letter. So this is the letter F. And that means that this chapter is about February. And that's the name of the headmistress of the deaf boarding school. So Charlie is Sarah, I believe. I believe that character is loosely based on her or maybe 100%, but it's not an autobiography because this character, Charlie, is in this boarding school, never really knew deaf people before. She has some speech. She's rebellious. Um, and, and I don't want to give away too much, but it goes on and on and on. And so... I can't say enough about this book. I love it. I love everything about it. Um, let me just see if I forgot anything. Um, 
yeah, I told you there's history, there's vocabulary, there's signs. Um, yeah, it's just, it's absolutely amazing. And I highly recommend it. True Biz by Sarah Novick. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. And I heard a little rumor that um, this may be developed into a television series, maybe ongoing or limited. And I just want to put my bid in to audition for the role of February, the headmistress of the boarding school. Okay, there, I said it. Put it into the universe. Everybody, check out True Biz. I believe you will enjoy it. Thanks for joining me. Bye.